27 storm track weather with Chief Meteorologist Cameron Hopman. Relief is finally beginning to arrive for some spots across southern Wisconsin. We may not necessarily feel it all that much quite yet, but it's there. There's your cold front pushing further off to the southeast. Now, here's the deal. As that cold front continues to make its way across southern Wisconsin, a few things are going to happen. Uh, we're going to see a few more of these isolated rain showers on the back edge of the system. The severe weather threat is going to come to an end. In fact, it's already come to an end for the majority of the region. Uh, check this out. Uh, just off to the south and east of us, you can see this bright pink box, including Walworth County. Uh, that is a severe thunderstorm watch that was issued by the National Weather Service. Notice again, the only area in our region under that threat of a severe thunderstorm watch is Walworth County. The rest of that for the far southeastern reaches of the state, parts of Illinois, as well as Indiana. So that means our severe weather threat essentially has concluded for the day today. The other thing that has concluded, or at least is beginning to exit, those hot temperatures. Yes, you can see the blue skies out there still at this hour, and we are seeing some scattered cloud cover here and there. Not that bad, but temperatures are now technically falling. We topped out at 89 a short while ago here in Madison. Winds from the northwest, six miles per hour. Those northwesterly winds signaling that that cold front has come and gone. And most importantly, those dew point values have already fallen. 69 degrees isn't exactly comfortable, don't get me wrong, but it's a heck of a lot better than where we have been. Current temperatures across the area again, seeing those northwesterly winds swing in. Janesville down from 99, now 91 degrees. Monroe, 88. Madison 87. Look at Baraboo down to 82. Veroca at 79. Prairie du Chien is already 77 degrees, meaning that temperatures across the area as compared to yesterday have already fallen between 2 to nearly 20 degrees. That is a significant difference. It's all thanks to this cold front. Here's the latest model data coming into our weather center again. Showers and storms still a possibility uh, for the far southeastern parts of the state within the next hour or so. Beyond that, any severe weather threat comes to an end. And we look at a quieter night ahead. Northwesterly winds swinging in across the region, and that will continue to be the case throughout the overnight hours. Could see some patchy fog early tomorrow morning as temperatures gradually dwindle towards the low 70s for some spots, the mid to upper 60s in others. We'll wake up to a morning low temperature of 70 degrees in Madison early tomorrow, which will feel oh, a heck of a lot nicer because not only will it be 70, it won't be necessarily all that humid as well. 70 and partly sunny right around uh, partly clear. I should say around six o'clock in the morning by eight. We're right around uh, 73 partly sunny skies by that point. We'll top out near 84 degrees on Wednesday and actually look a little cooler for Thursday. However, another system swings in across parts of the Midwest, bringing scattered showers, thunderstorms along with it. Latest model data keeping the majority of those storm chances toward Thursday evening. Check that out. Showers and thunderstorms firing up. In fact, the Storm Prediction Center placing uh, the westernmost reaches of our communities uh, under a marginal risk of severe weather. That is a one out of five on that threat index for your Thursday evening. Could see some lingering showers early Friday morning, then drier weather throughout the rest of our Friday, meaning, yes, 81 degrees and partly cloudy skies, not too shabby for the uh, beginning uh, of the Badgers season at Camp Randall. We're going to be seeing a high temperature 81 that day, 82 Saturday for the taste. Sunday, high temperatures right around 78 degrees. So now that we're getting this cold front, things are looking finally a little bit better. I am so excited.